and welcome back to my AR Book Read Aloud channel. Today, I will be reading The Magic Horse of Han Gan, written and illustrated by Chen Jiang Hong. AR Book Level is 4.4 with 0 0.5 points. The Magic Horse of Han Gan When he was little, Han Gan loved to draw, but he was unable to buy brushes and paper because of his family was too poor. To help his parents by earning a little money, he went to work for the innkeeper. His job was to deliver meals to the homes of her customers. One day, Han Gan delivered a meal to the famous painter Wang Wei. As he was leaving, he noticed some handsome horses behind the house and could not resist sketching them in the sand. Intrigued, Wang Wei drew up behind Han Gan and looked thoughtfully at his drawing. Then he told Han Gan to come back and see him the following day. Han Gan returned the next day to find that Wang Wei had prepared paper ink, brushes, and a small sack of coins for him. This is for you, so that you can paint as much as you like. Han Gan's heart swelled with his recognition. Han Gan drew from sunrise to sunset. More than anything, he loved to draw horses always trying to make them seem as real and live as possible. He was so talented that several years later, the emperor, who had heard a great deal about him, summoned him to the palace to enter the academy for official painters. Academy, Han Gan refused to perfect his craft by imitating the works of the ancient masters, as his teacher had asked him to do. He only wanted to paint horses, which, strangely enough, he always painted tethered. Why do you always draw your horses hitched up? His friends asked him one day. Because Han Gan replied, my horses are so alive, they might l even leap off right the paper. From this time, people began to whisper ever stranger things about the horses of Han Gan. Some time later, in the deepest darkest of a silent night, a great warrior came out to see Han Gan as he worked in his studio. My visit must remain a secret, the warrior said. The enemy is at our gates. Tomorrow, I must go and fight. I have heard that your horses are more real than nature and that your magic brush can make them come to life. If I asked you, could you bring to a to life a steed more valiant and spirited than has ever before existed? I can try, Han Gan replied. Han 
again started to draw with all his heart and soul, but the horse that he created did not come to life. Please carry on, it is crucial, the warrior insisted. I am sorry, said Hand again. This drawing is worthless. It deserves only to be thrown into the fire. But at the very moment that he threw away the paper, an extraordinary steed bounded out from between the flames. The warrior hurled himself onto his mount and disappeared with him into the night. Take care of your horse, Han Gan called after him, but only the moon was there to hear him. The horse that had come to life had no need of water, food, or sleep. When he galloped, his hooves barely touched the ground. As for the warrior, he had never felt so mighty. And he was not simply powerful. He seemed invincible. In the fiercest battles, neither the arrows nor the spears ever touched him, not him or his horse. The warrior began to report great victories. But these victories did not satisfy him. He wanted to fight again and again until he no longer had a single living enemy. Sadness overcame the horse. He looked around at the defeated and the dead and at the wounded and dying horses. And he suddenly began to cry. Throwing off the warrior in the middle of the battlefield, the horse, still covered in blood, broke into a powerful gallop. Nothing and no one could have stopped him. The warrior searched desperately for the horse. He searched for him over 36 days and through 36 nights. One autumn morning, he arrived in front of Han Gan's house. The horse that you have gave me has disappeared, he said to Hangan. Do you know where he is? Yes, I do, Hangan replied. Do you see this painting? In it, I painted five horses. One morning when I arose, I found a sixth. It is here in my painting that your host, horse now lives. The end. Thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoyed reading with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any new upcoming videos. Have a great day!